Okay. I think we, I want to go north. See how. Ooh! Okay. Gotta be more careful. Disabled. Jeez. Okay. So, got to be careful. Got it. New engines got get up and go. Oh, hey, there's her house. Builder. Ah. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but in otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Awesome. The Engineer's Companion. Okay. Nice. So we have another place to safely dock. Always good to have. Treasure there. Okay. Let's head back. Actually, we can head to the other place, can't we? Because we got stuff to sell. I have room for more. Just a little bit more wood. Perfect. Trader. A returning customer, please take this as a symbol of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Relaxed mind. Ooh, he pulls a book from a stack sitting on his desk and hands it to you. It's covered in dust, but otherwise seems in good condition. There you go. Do I need this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in storage for now. Okay. We'll also rest here. Get some fish real quick. Realize I don't have room. <laughs> Boom. Okay. That's all the fish we got. I never placed my crab pots. Good sir. 
not much. Shipwright, please tell me this is enough. <gasps> it is enough. Let's go. And then to dry docks. Boom. Boom. Not enough to actually do the thing. But that's okay. I think I might want to upgrade all of that before I venture down to the place where the things happen. Um, yeah, I'm kind of feeling I want to upgrade more here in town. I needed... I need, first off, more money. Ooh, hello. What are you? The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air. Faint shape stands upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Lame. All right, what are these guys? Great eel. Interesting. Yeah, we'll go for some in pay stuff real quick. Money. Okay. And now dry docks. Light space. What do I need? I need one more piece of lumber. Okay. Let's go see if we can find that one more piece of lumber. Thought I saw stuff this way. Yup. There's some stuff. what I'm looking for.
also not what I'm looking for. What's this guy doing? You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Let's call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? Uh, a fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to little tomorrow. But I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. And I'm not going further into this accursed island chain. I could deliver the package to Little Morrow for you. Mm. You would? Well, that would work, I guess. Okay. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Morrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it, so just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Mm. Here, why don't you take this too? Again, an item emerges from the door handle. This time, a book is pushed through and thuds into the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Okay. I mean, not what we came here for, but I will take it. More nonsense. Okay, okay. Well. Let's head this way. Maybe she might have something spawn over here. Yeah, that's metal parts. I don't want metal parts. And that's cloth. Ow! Okay. I just realized, does my storage match up? My storage does match up anywhere I go. Okay. Noted. So we can just grab things and then put them in storage and then they will teleport with us. What's going on here? Oh boy, you're funky. Cool, oh, and we're leaving with that. Um, dock worker. How's the day treating you? We've got a package here for you. Mm. A delivery? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes a large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off the dock without another word to you or compensation. Jerk. Yeah. Here we go. That's the lumber we need.
Perfect. Okay. I think we can see what's in a crab pot as well. Oh, needs repair. for specific species check your encyclopedia it could have the information you need okay do 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 ship right repair my stuff and then dry docks boom and Boom. New hole. We need all of the things. Okay. Good to know. Refined metal. That's a new one. Okay. But. We have a goal now. We're going to store that for now. Pots down. Boom, boom. Though we will do some shallow fishing. Relaxed mind. The relaxed mind. 10% resilience to panic. Excellent. sell that and then we oh I have access to nets the simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed Ooh. okay we will have to work toward that okay 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 yeah we definitely need more more space so let's we're gonna sell that together other outward okay cool and now with our faster boat that can also go haste. We head to Gale Cliffs. Oh, 
that increases my stress a lot. Okay. Interesting. Let's go Big Town. I feel like Big Town will have better, will have a, a fishmonger to sell to. No. Ingfell Residence. What is it? Uh, do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yeah. Thank you. You'll be decently compensated. Anything else? Where can I catch a conger eel? Mm. Ah, yes, they can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and did I mention that they only come out at night? Of course. Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Anything else? Can you tell me about the cliffs? Hmm. Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed. Their treasure hoards left abandoned and unclaimed to this day. I dare say... They'd be worth a lot if anyone were to find them. Anything else? Yeah, where can I sell my fish here? We catch our fish ourselves here. We don't have much need for buying any, but there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Perfect. Do you know any odd characters around these parts? Oh. Have you heard of the tale of... Margren? He's an old whaler from these parts. As the whalers get more scarce, their crews spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Margaret, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unusual attachment to a scroll he found on one of these trips. He says the scroll told him how to become a mortal by eating mutated fish. People started to call him Margan the Fisherman. The Fishman. One day, the town awoke to find all the boats, nets, and lines had been slashed tonight. Old Morgan was nowhere to be found, nor has he been seen since. Interesting. Okay. Well. Ooh, what is this? Okay, okay. And then what do we have here? Oops. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. We don't got the room. All right. We're done. Yeah, we have to... We have to upgrade the size of our ship. Ah. Traveling merchant. Oh, hoy there. You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a horse house on fire. Ha ha! I'm a traveler and a merchant. All rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. On this side of the pontoon, I'll buy any fish. If you want to sell, I also keep a stock of crab pots. 
Say, have you met the photographer? She stopped by my pontoon a little while back. She's loaded up with fancy camera equipment to take pictures of all the wildlife. She sighs wistfully. I wish I had my own camera. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to document everything you do? You'd never forget anything. Anyway, she said she was setting up on a small island to the south of the Maros. If you're in the area, maybe you should check on her. Okay, and what's your floating dock? You might be used to dry docks at the other ports, but we can make the same upgrades to your boat here at this floating dock. Check it out. Let's go. Okay. Good to know. So we can get the new hall here. It will be the same price. And then the shipyard. Most of this gear is super heavy, so I don't offload it at every pontoon. But come aboard and see what equipment we have for sale. Same things. Gotcha. <gasps> you have the refined metal. Okay. 500 G's. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, we can hang out in this area for a while. Good to know. Let's go ahead and do a little fishing then before nighttime. No, I want, I want these guys over here. Yeah, this. Oh, what the hell? Well, now I have to. Hmm. I don't appreciate that. Nice research parts. Okay. Well. Yep. Let's sell the thing. Because now we have to get... go okay research nets huh there we go improved nets oh hey again come by for a chat yeah do you need help with anything assistance from an angler absolutely I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travel so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share your information with me? Sure, I'll help with that. Great, the fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper, eel, goliath, tigerfish, and colacan. I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Mm. Sure, tell me about the oarfish. Given that the oarfish has a long and fragile body, I suspect that they live in reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe the shelter of Gale Cliffs would suit them. The gulper eel? I know that the gulper e eels live in the deepest depths imaginable. You have to get some specialist gear to catch one of those. Goliath tigerfish? These guys are legitimately scary. They haunt hunt in murky, swampy waters. Use the shade of trees as cover. Uh, and that word I couldn't... Actually, I have no idea what those might be. But they have a primordial feel to them, don't you think? Awesome. Cool. About those rare fish you wanted me to find. Mm. Oh, then why did... Why did it have a question mark on those? Whatever. I'm going. Let us rest. <laughs> 